Welcome back to the Mullen Performance Audio Channel. Uh, I shot a four minute video, put you guys on pause, and uh, had to shut you back off and lost the video. So let's start over again. Uh, <laughs> so today has been an interesting day so far. Got out in the garage, wanted to be productive today, so I was like, yeah, I'll still go ahead and start on the box for the, uh, for the uh, Trinity. And I got a couple ideas. Literally whipped a box out in 30, 45 minutes. Still got it. Uh, had to move the Malibu. So I come out here and uh, went to start the Malibu and the battery was dead. And I forgot I have the Loxus cat bank in there. I was like, oh, yeah, it's got the jump start feature on it. So first time I've ever had to use it on that car. And uh, worked perfect. So I honestly... I love those things. I got three of them, and you know what? If I ever get a chance, I'm gonna put them in every vehicle I got because they're just convenient. You literally put them in there, and you download the app on your phone, and uh, if you need a jump start, your battery goes dead, because once the voltage gets down to a certain point, it no longer, it shuts the voltage off from the battery. So if you hook it directly up to the battery and your battery goes down below, let's say, I don't know what it is exactly, 12 volts, it automatically says, nope, I don't have nothing to do with you no more. And then the battery drains. And then if you need a jump, you hit the button and it takes like 10 seconds and it dumps all of its energy back into the battery and gives you a jump start. And uh, it worked perfect. So I cannot uh, speak highly enough about uh, how that thing works. So I got two, two here on the bank. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just love them. So. Uh, what else? Oh, got the box made. Uh, simple. I was gonna, I think, I think I'm gonna get a little fancy and put some aluminum strips on the corner just to break it up. I'm gonna get some uh, speaker box paint, which I can never remember the name of that stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I just can't remember the name of that stuff. I'll roll it on. I'll get the speaker put in there. Next time you guys see this, hopefully it will be playing. Uh, that box is uh, 0.88, um, 0.88, 88 gross. Yeah, I think by the time you put the, the sub in there, it calls for 0.65, and I just wanted to do sealed because I want to throw a bunch of power at it and want to watch it move. I got a bunch of dust in my nose. I want to watch it move. So I was going to do port it, and I thought, yeah, it's... Yeah, you know, it's going to sit on my workbench, so I, I wanted the smallest possible. So it was just like, eh, quit overthinking it. Just put it in a sealed box and be done with it. I could have put it in that one, but that one's already been ran over with my truck. Uh, that one's built for a 10. I, see, I kept saying 12 on the video last time. I don't know why. Uh, I, I got 12s on my brain. Um, so uh, let me shut the... I had to uh, open the door and get all the dust out of here. I did have my face mask on and uh because i'm gonna be having those uh sawdust boogers so yeah it took me an hour just to get the garage ready to build one box that took 45 minutes so <laughs> cars leak in transmission fluid when i first built that car uh it's got airbags on it and it would lay on the ground and it would lay frame on the ground well that's nice but when you put a 6.0 in it a 4l 80e a 4l 80 is she's a hoss and uh, she hangs down a lot farther than a Turbo 350 does. And when that happens and you lay the car on the ground, you're sitting on the transmission and you're sitting on the transmission pan, which means all the way to the car is smooshing it. So ever since I started doing that, because it never leaked when I first got it, and then when I started laying the car out on the ground, uh, it smooshed the pan gasket. And I have never fixed it, because I only drive that car every few months. And I'll just dump some transmission fluid in it and just keep on rolling. Rolling, baby. So, yeah, uh, next time you guys see the box, the box will be done. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go fancy and buy some connector for it, some maybe SMD connector or something. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I, I have no idea. Um, I'll get that done. I'll get the Trinity in there. You guys will get a Trinity Flex video. Uh, and then, like I said, I'll throw that sucker back in the box, and I'll forget about it until I hit 1,000. So don't forget, guys, you subscribe. You have a chance of winning that thing. Uh, it'd be quick and easy. I mean, literally, you'll have the best odds ever. 
you know, one in a thousand if everybody signs up. And I don't think everybody's going to sign up, so you'll have even better odds than that. Uh, picked this up the other day. Um, another auction find. It's just a little pile. It says 2 by 40 Who knows? It'll just be good for testing speakers. Plug it in. You know, hook up uh, my spare phone to it and use it instead of having to drag out a complete amp and test with a complete amp. I could just literally leave that over here plugged up. I'm going to move some of my stuff over here because I'm running out of workbench real fast. But, uh, yeah, um, that's it for today, guys. I don't know if this video is going to come out about Christmas time or first of the year or whatever. Um, I say um a lot. So I love you guys. Love my patrons. You guys are awesome. Um, again, <laughs> I'm just not with it today. I will talk to you guys after the first year. I love you guys. Have a good day.